Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. Samsung A70 was exactly launched two years ago in March 2019. And a lot of people are still using this as their daily driver. And you will find this new on Amazon for a discounted price and even a bargain from used market. The fifth generation of the A series, starting with A10, A70 to A90, started this whole mid range campaign for Samsung. They started competing with the mid range and entry level phones as they tried to win even the budget segment. And true enough, a lot of good feedback from their critics. As we revisit the beefier and more expensive A70, how's the performance after two years? And can it still compete with the latest and greatest A series phones today, such as the A71 and the upcoming A72? This is a review of Samsung A70. Is it still worth it? Hey, don't forget to subscribe, my friend. Let's go. Let's start with the design. It's a little outdated to be honest, but one of the best looking design if you ask me. You will still see a lot of phones today that has this teardrop notch even bigger than Samsung A70. It's common these days and this phone will blend really well. I mean when teardrop design was first released, everyone is raving about it. And so a lot of consumers are still using these phones. We have received little advancements in terms of hiding the selfie camera. The punch hole just basically shows a thin layer of screen in between bezels and the camera modules. No additional functionality at all. So I'd say between this and the current A71, design is outdated but still good. The only downside of the design is the plastic back. It's both fingerprint and scratch magnet. There's no purpose and protection other than Samsung building it cheap to sell it cheaper. They will save money from the glass and the Gorilla Glass protection. Next is performance. This phone is using Snapdragon 675 coupled with 6 or 8 gigs of RAM. The processor is a little outdated now and you will feel some hiccups here and there but nothing to worry about. The processor isn't the greatest but the healthy 6 or 8 gigs of RAM helps this phone manage everyday tasks faster. I also noticed that this phone has great RAM management. I did a test, reopening apps and most of them loaded instantly where I left them off. I also run a Geekbench test and it scored 502 on single core and 1540 on multi cores. If you want speed comparison, it is faster than Samsung A71 on single core, which is the successor, and the older Samsung S8 on multi cores. That's pretty impressive. It will perform decent on everyday tasks. Heavy games such as Mobile Legends, GTA, and Call of Duty will run on medium to high performance. Light games such as Temple Run and Subway Surfer are generally fast. I have no issue opening apps, streaming services, and using it for phone calls and text. It also has 128 gigs of storage that is pretty sufficient for 2021 and can be expandable through SD card. It's currently running Android 10 on One UI. Next, let's talk about the screen. The screen is a 6.7 inch Super AMOLED display with a tall 20 by 9 aspect ratio. That aspect ratio is good for reading, multi window, and full screen videos. It has 600 nits of max brightness that will allow you to see the content of the screen in direct sunlight. The Super AMOLED screen has punchy colors and deep blacks. You don't have screen bleeding on the sides, and it's just a joy to watch videos on this phone. Next is the sound. The audio quality of this phone is mediocre. It has a single downward firing speaker that can easily be covered. In fact, I covered it few times while playing a game when holding it in landscape mode. Not a deal breaker though, as it compensates with the inclusion of the headphone jack. And to test the sound, I tested this with my Pixel 3 XL. Here's the test. Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. Samsung. Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. The sound is pretty good, but it's not loud enough at max volume. Next up is the battery. The battery of this phone is good. 
It has 4,500 milliampere that is sufficient for a full day of use. I was able to play 2 hours of gaming, 1 full Netflix movie, 2 and a half hours of social networking, an hour of YouTube videos and music streaming, an occasional phone, text, and camera use, and still have more or less 20% at the end of the day. It also has a generous 25 watts of fast charging, and I was able to charge it from 0 to 40 in 30 minutes. The battery juice and the charging speed are pretty solid. In saving our last review for the camera, I have mixed feelings about it. Honestly, it's just okay. My point of view or expectation is for 2021 because we have a lot of great camera phones today. It has a triple camera setup of 32 megapixel main, 8 megapixel ultra wide, and 5 megapixel depth sensor. The 32 megapixel main sensor is good. Photos are inviting but sometimes soft for my taste. It is generally good for daylight shooting but challenging in some situation with darker areas. It's a hit or miss for some shots. Ultra wide is good but it will not win any awards. It's there when you need it. The 8 megapixel is somehow sufficient to get good details on the scene you're shooting. Videos are good but not great. It can shoot 4K at 30 FPS and 1080 up to 240 FPS. It has no stabilization so make sure you have a super steady hands or use a gimbal. So what is Gadget RevNow's verdict? Samsung A70 is like an S10e, light. If there's such thing, you know what I mean? It's a premium performer minus the design, the processor, and the camera. It's a stripped version of a high-end phone. For which users are these four in 2021? Those on tight budget that concerns are more for functionality, usability, and entertainment. I can easily recommend this to people who just needs a good phone for social networking and watching videos. I cannot recommend this to gamers as the processor is aging now. Sure, it can still play heavy games, but as those games continue to evolve, it will get heavier and heavier and I don't think Snapdragon 675 can handle those in the future. And lastly, camera is also good but you will have some hair pulling moments because it's a hit or miss. Samsung A70 is still a great phone in 2021 but with some compromise. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. I will post daily videos of gadget reviews, comparisons, rumors, and leaks. The goal of this channel is to review and compare devices as simple as possible, concise, and friendly, and keeping you updated with the latest happenings around the tech world. Don't forget to drop your comment, like, and share. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.